is the second day of Women of Joy. We have, let's see, the first day we saw a speaker in the evening and then we all went back to my friend's condo and we had a good time visiting. Uh, this morning we had two speakers and uh, then we went out to lunch and then now a small group of us came because my sister wanted some Hertz donuts really bad. So we came and got some donuts and uh, now we're getting ready to go to our Jeremy Camp concert tonight, which she's also really excited about and we're gonna get there super early, hopefully to get a better seat. Look at all of these ladies here, including us. They're here an app two and a half hours before the concert even starts. <laughs>
Welcome to our conferences, you guys. This is you ladies. It really is. I, I said that, but it really is. There's, there's joy in this place tonight. Oh, my word. It's incredible. I have uh, two daughters. My daughter just turned 12 yesterday, and my other daughter's 13. Pray for me. <laughs> They're very sweet. And we constantly tell them that we're like, listen, remember Deborah led the armies of Israel. Esther saved her people. And there's women that have changed the world in the course of history, standing for Jesus Christ. And I believe that tonight, there's many women in here that have done great things, are gonna do great things for the kingdom. And I'm so grateful just to be here amongst you all. So thank you for having us tonight, it's incredible. A friend sent me a, 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 showed me a text that his son had sent him, he was in Cambodia. And it was a t-shirt that this girl was wearing and on the back it said, dead inside. And he was very sad, because that's kind of what was representation of what was happening inside of her. And I go, man, what's perfect about this is that she's so ready to hear the gospel. Because we all were once dead in our trespasses, right? But we've been made alive in Christ. Saying that, hey, there is life in Jesus Christ. There's hope in Jesus Christ. There's peace in Jesus Christ. And that first song I was saying, you called me out of the grave. I was once dead, but now I rejoice because I've been found. Because I was lost and now I see. And I want to encourage you. This song says, raise a shout to let the world know that Jesus saves. Let's let everybody in this place, in this building go, what are they shouting about? They say, because Jesus Christ has saved their lives. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus Christ, and that's it. 
And I truly want this world to, to understand the hope that I have in Jesus Christ. I want them to look at me and say, what is different about that person? What is different about him? I can say it's, it's Jesus. It's only Jesus. And I want this world to see Christ in me in everything that I do. This song's called Christ in me. Thank you, Jesus.
pretty personal, is that okay? I want to share a little bit, but um, I'm going to battle with, with fear, anxiety, and any of that stuff in here, so you don't have to raise your hand if you know about being one, that's fine. So, the beginning of the year, this has been a really tough year for me, and I'm an amazing start of the year, me and my daughter, that took my daughters just being dad and the girls, moving myself to Uganda, which was awesome. We did an outreach there, and there was 35,000 people who showed up, and a thousand people responded to the gospel. It was incredible. Yeah, it was incredible. And almost immediately, though, after I got home, this was in January, the enemy started just throwing these attacks at me. I don't know if it's just physical exhaustion, that he piggybacked on whatever it was, but I, I went through these crazy anxieties that I've never experienced before, almost like panic. And I fell into this kind of depression thing where I was like, what is, I've never experienced and I was in bed for three days just going, what is happening? And I want to tell you something. What I did is I cried out to Jesus. I cried out to Jesus. Me and my wife were sitting there, we were praying, and we were like, I know where my help comes from. It's Jesus. And I want to tell you that nothing that you can run to to try to mask or cover up anything, it's not going to work. He's our only source of everything that we need. And I'm so thankful for the faithfulness of God because I've been through a lot of stuff in my life. I've never experienced that. And it made me get on my knees. And what God did through that was just take out stuff, fears I didn't realize that were there from years past. Things that I, I realized even, things that I wasn't even trusting the Lord in. Stemming from probably the loss of my wife and not dealing with stuff and, and going, God, I guess sometimes I don't trust you. And it, put me to the place where I was faced with that fact. I've got to trust Jesus because he's the only thing that's going to help me in this. And he came through. My sisters, he came through. And I read this song about a year ago. Can I play a new song for y'all? Is that, is that cool? I read this song about a year ago and I didn't know what this would mean even now to me. Because I know the answer to every question, the one solution to every fear. I know my help and where it comes from is Jesus. He's the answer. And these words never became more real to me than now. You see, what does that mean? I want to, we, we come to events, we go to church, we, we hear all these things sometimes, like Jesus is the answer, he's everything that we need. But what does that mean? What does it mean to you? I want to tell you something. Genesis to Revelation, when you read God's word, what you see is the names of Jesus all throughout. Talks about who Jesus is. He's the Alpha, He's the Omega, He's the beginning, He's the end. He's the Jehovah Jireh, the provider. He's your refuge, He's your comfort, He's your shield, He's your protector. He's the way, He's the truth, He's the life, the one source of life. So when you say Jesus is everything you need, He truly is everything that you need. So tonight, whatever you're going through, whatever those things that you haven't cried out truly from the depths of your soul, and sometimes I know it's like, I've been crying out, where are you, God? I've had those times too. Don't give up. Because all the enemy's gonna do is gonna try to attack and throw lies and say, God doesn't hear you. Oh, he hears you. And he loves you. We talked about it already. He knows everything about you. He just wants us to rely on him and to trust him with everything because he's trustworthy. As we sing this song, whatever it is that you need to cry out and say, God, I know my help and where it comes from, it's you. Let me your cry tonight because he is the answer. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. 
sorry. I want to leave you with this song. Let's all stand up. I know it's our last song. I'm sorry, Julie. Your name, right? You're gonna stand up, thank you, Julie. Appreciate it. <laughs> I'm sure this has been an incredible conference. You know and enjoy. Always is, and just to hear that people give their life to Jesus is the most incredible thing. Sometimes when we come to these events, we get really fired up, and emotions are good, okay? Thank, thank you. <laughs> How much you love Jesus? That's good. Thank you. I have ADD, stop doing that. But what happens is emotions are good, and I know God has done a lot in, a, in all of you guys' hearts. But what that is, is just a, a fire starter. We have to stoke the fire. So what I mean is don't let this one experience dictate and say, I'm gonna get through this year, I'm gonna get through the next five years of my life. No, this is a great starting point. To go home and dig into God's word and to cultivate that relationship more and more with Jesus. To stoke that fire. And to go out and make disciples, like Jesus said. But how do we do that? We can't do it in our own strength. Romans 8, 28 says this, the same power that rose Jesus Christ from the grave actually lives within us. So my sisters, let me say this. You know what that means in the Greek? It means the same power that rose Jesus Christ from the grave lives within us. It just is what it means. We actually have that spirit and that power. So I don't encourage you to walk in that. We want to see change in our families, in our communities, in our churches, in our workplaces, in our schools. We have to walk in that power, have to walk in that boldness, and walk in that truth. Amen? I'm going to send you out with this as we sing the same power. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah.